Hi, I'm Jen and I create crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make custom mugs. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is log in to your Cricut Design Space. You can purchase this particular SVG off of my website, which I will link below, but it's just homesteadhow.com, or you can create your own. Uh, Cricut put on a new uh, feature on their site, which I really like, which is this curve button here. So it lets you curve your image or your um, fonts or your words, however you want, which is pretty neat. So I saw this particular particular one on Pinterest and I liked it, which took me to Etsy and I wasn't ready to spend $3 for something that I can make by myself. So that's what I did. I made it myself. So after you upload this image, if you purchase from me or Etsy or whoever else, or you make your own, after you create it, you're going to want to make sure you select all of your words and your images or whatever you're doing and go down here to the bottom right and press attach. The reason for that is, is if you don't press attach, all these letters are going to cut out individually and you're going to have a heck of a time putting it on your mug. So as, when you attach it, it's going to cut it the way that you see it, unless there's different colors. So the next step is you're going to want to go up here and unclick it. So which means it opens it up so you can change the size. My particular mug that I'm using, I know it's going to be a three by three. You have to do the measurements on your mug to see how big or little you want it. Every mug is different, but my particular one is an 11 ounce mug, so I'm going to use three by three. So the next thing you want to do is since you have it attached and I don't, I'm not changing any colors on here, I like it the way it is, I'm just going to go and click make it. And then I'm just going to go from there. I don't need to move it anywhere because I know where I'm going to put it on. I know where my vinyl is going to lay on here. So I'm going to skip this step. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to weed it all and then show you the next step. Every month we do a craft bundle giveaway. It only takes 20 seconds to enter. Visit iCreateCrafts.com and click on the giveaway. Okay, so next I'm going to take my paper that I already weeded and take my transfer tape that I cut out to size, peel the backing of the transfer tape off, and then carefully stick it to the vinyl, kind of pushing with your fingers that you don't get any air bubbles in there, like that. And then I take my tool and just scrape it. Again, trying to get any bubbles that might be in there, just get it sticking to the transfer tape so it's easier just to pull off. So I hope that does it, and if it doesn't, you can always go back and just keep doing it some more. But it's coming off pretty well so far. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. And because I'm on camera, it turned out lucky. So I don't know if you can see that, but it transferred really well on there. So because I have this new mug that's not wider on the top and skinnier at the bottom, it'll be a lot easier to put this on. So I'm trying to do this that you can see with me, that I can see. Um, so you just want to line it up. I hope you guys can see me. I'm trying to do this. So you just want to line it up. And then again, just push with your fingers and allow, and allow it to grab onto the cup without getting air bubbles. And there we go. So you just push on the sides, just making sure that it sticks. So there. And then push with your thumb making sure that it all stays on when you pull the transfer tape off. So there, so hopefully you can see that. And then I will carefully just peel back the transfer tape. And because I am frugal or cheap or whatever you want to call me, I will actually reuse this transfer tape for another time since there's nothing wrong with it, I didn't cut it, there's no holes. So I'll just put it over to the side. So there, grandpas are dads without rules.
Hope you can see that there. I think that turned out pretty good. It's even to the top, it's even with the bottom, and it's not crooked anywhere like my other ones have been. So there we go. I actually um, sew with my daughter in the summer at craft fairs or flea markets. Um, but this particular mug and a couple other ones that I've also made, this one that I've shown before, um, I'm going to sell these at a local craft store. So if you're looking to make some extra money, I would suggest looking into a craft store around you or around the neighborhood that's like that you can get into. It's just kind of fun, extra way of money, extra way of getting your name out there. But um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thumbs up and leave any questions or comments or anything that you might think of. And then I will leave this SVG file on my site and I'll put it down below if you're interested in purchasing it. I also do create uh, SVG files if you're looking for a particular thing and don't have uh, design space or silhouette or anything to create it on. But if you're interested in anything, you can send me a message. Um, but again, thumbs up and uh, please subscribe.